Professor Roy Peach. Um, I had my own brand um, for 14 years and uh, I sold to, I sold all around the world. I started off as a part of the team from London College of Fashion in the consultancy with um, the designers over the road. Um, and uh, that was my introduction to, to what was going on. I was then invited um, to come back independently from London College of Fashion. Um, and I've been working very closely with Edda ever since um, in picking up, I suppose what we've, what we've done is picked up those designers from the COSA competition who weren't successful in winning and then offering them a, a short course, well a short course, a course to develop their own collections um, to potentially be shown during Istanbul Fashion Week as part of the um, innovation, I, I, I'm not too good on the names, but the um, new generation and it's great fun, it's really interesting. Well, London is a city, um, it lives fashion on the streets. And that's where all the inspiration and that's where all the energy comes from in the clubs and the music and just, just generally what young people are wearing and older people. They're much more experimental, they're much more um, receptive to new ideas. Slightly, well not slightly, but they're much more eccentric in the way that they dress. I think in Istanbul, it's much more difficult for students because they don't have that, there seems to be a, a, a culture here of conservatism. I mean, I don't mean political conservatism, but I mean, you know, you wear proper clothes and, and they're quite um, sort of commercial and well accepted. <clears throat> so I think it's really difficult for um, Turkish students to, to really, really be experimental. They've, you've got the most fantastic um, cultural history, you know, I mean the museum, I mean, it's just a wonderful city for getting inspiration, but the inspiration is, it's historic information and it's quite difficult to use that um, to take it forward as a, as a visual stimulus for design work. So think maybe things will change, but uh, at the moment I think it, it's much more difficult for a Turkish student than it is for an English student. But I say an English student, at my university when I was there, we had students from 72 countries around the world, so every group of students was an absolute mix, from Chinese through to Mexicans, through to European, Italy, Spain, um, and English. So, it, it, you know, that was a really rich environment for them to learn in as well, whereas over here there tends to be just Turkish students. Having said what I've just said about the sort of design stimulus, I think what they really need to develop is their technical skills. Um, pattern cutting uh, and, and sort of manufacture. In order to be successful in the industry, whatever the industry is, whether it be your own company, um, where you have to tell people what you want, or working for another you know, a, a mass market um, company, they need to know what's going on around them. If they can't interfere with the shape and, and the sort of look of what they're designing, then there's no way that they can really understand and get across what they're trying to get across. And if there were any immediate weakness um, that I've, I've experienced, it, it is be that a lot of the students over here don't have the, the necessary technical skills. Um, they've got the intelligence, they have the, the sort of brain power um, but they're not able, that, you know, the, I think it must be a very frustrated brain power um, because they can't physically then create. I have to say EMA is better than most that I've experienced, having been part of COSA. Um, they're much better at getting students into a technical position, so they feel slightly more confident. It's actually the ones that don't um, 
sort of win, as it were. But strangely enough, this year, the winner from last year is working with us. Um, but I, I'm a great believer in, in sort of tutorial advice rather than trying to say you must do this, this and, and this. So um, I, I look at their work, I, I do challenge them about markets and make sure that they know where their clothes have a relevance um, and which kind of designers they would um, see themselves sitting next to in a store. Uh, it's, we then usually send them out to do a little bit of market research on on the cost of clothes because again um, designers by nature just design something they don't think about how much it's going to cost they expect that there will be um, women or men out there who want to buy it but you, you have to be very market aware of, of price the price point of, of garments so we kind of do that to start with and then we just support them in getting the best out of their project that they possibly can because they do a new project it's not the COSA project um, it's, it's a completely new project and I have to say that I'm quite excited about the current batch as it were um, they've they've really pushed their um, design concepts I'm not sure that they're necessarily Turkish but that doesn't matter because you know what they're trying to do is, is look at a global marketplace. And I think there's one or two in there that are really exciting. It, it's a fantastic initiative. Um, there are similar things going on in London that I've been involved with in the Centre of Fashion Enterprise um, that I'm, I'm not involved with now. But um, I think it's really good that industry gives a support system to uh, young designers and looking for new names. And I suppose, um, there, I mean, there's two that, that stand out in my mind, and, and that's not saying that the others weren't. But one is Hande, who's clearly making a mark um, for herself internationally. Um, and the other one is Azu, who was an incredibly um, intelligent, business-like um, addition to, to the InCube team. And her skills were fantastic. I mean, in the sense that, that her business skills and her understanding of, of what was needed um, were really good. So I think InCube is a, is a crucial part of the fashion support system within Istanbul. I've, I've noticed, I've, having worked with InCube and then worked with um, the left the, the ones that weren't successful in the COSA competition over the last couple of years, I've noticed that there's a, I feel much more confident in the quality of designers that are going through those systems um, because they're being challenged, the, you know, the best ones are being selected for COSA in the first place, but then even those are coming back through the system um, and they're just so much better, they're, they're so much more determined um, and they'll only come to Edda and myself um, for the, this program that we're now running if they're completely ambitious. And the current team, you know, I think there's 10 of them, 11 maybe, um, all of them are really, really committed. They turn up, they listen, they do the work, um, they've produced really good collections, um, some better than others, but that will always be the case. Um, but I've noticed a, a marked um, change in from the, the early days when I came over to EMA um, of the quality of students. They're not necessarily EMA students, but they're they're sifting through a system, um, going through ITKIB and you know their support to the system. Then they're landing back in EMA um, with with this course, and I think it's I think it's beginning to work really well.